What's going on guys, it's the Fox Den. In today's video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, <clears throat> convert a PS2 game to a, to work on the PS5. First things first, go ahead and download my repack. So you, what you wanna do is open up my repack. Some of the files might be named differently, so I'll just show you what to do. So always check the compatibility list before building a game. So open up PS2 Classic. I already installed this, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to install it again to show you because I ran into a problem before. So what you do, is you want to click this make sure you have internet connection it needs to connect to the database so press install okay that just showed something else so give me a second okay press the setup file made a mistake I'm gonna press no for a custom path I don't want set I don't want sound on this do you want to enable sound so just press no you can press yes if you want to, but I'm going to show you what to do. So just go ahead and press no. That's going to boot up the application for the first time. Now I already updated it already. It's going to say there's an update. Do you want to update? So go ahead and press yes and update that. So I'm going to go. I'm going to close out of this. I'll be right back. Okay, if the application closed for you or whatever, just go ahead and open up the application on the desktop. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we wanna find the game that we have. So we're gonna open up the ISO folder and this is the game that I'll be testing. And um, I have a cover that I made. So what you wanna do is um, you just right click on this. Sorry about that, I had a hiccup. I'll show you how to change the cover on here. So you wanna to go to file and you wanna press replace cover and find the image you want to use for whatever the title is called press ok alright then you want to press create ps2 classic now I made a folder on my desktop called test so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there and right now it's uh, creating the package so I'll be back when this is done okay so it looks like it's done creating the package so I close out of the application and we're gonna click on properties and it says it's 4.34 gigabytes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the original file and see what size it is out of curiosity okay so it's a little bit bigger make sure I forgot to tell you in the beginning of the video I'm sorry about that I ran into a problem make sure in the beginning of the video if you have a, a game or whatever and it's in a RAR format like let's say it's like that make sure you extract it then after you extract it, you're going to get a .iso file, and that's what your .iso file should look like. Don't try to throw a RAR file into, uh, into the application. I don't know if it can read it or not. I have no idea, so just make sure you extract everything. Okay, now that now that now that's done, we're going to take our PKG, and we're going to put it on the root of our hard drive or flash drive or whatever type of media you're using. Make sure it's on the root, then I'll meet you on the PS5. Okay, now that we've plugged our hard drive in, so just drag and drop your file onto the root of the hard drive. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, now that our file is done copying over to our hard drive, plug the hard drive into your PS5. We want to go to settings. We want to go to debug settings. We want to go to game. Press OK, package installer, and this is our package right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that install. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, this is almost done installing. As you can see, there's our new title. We're gonna go ahead and exit out of everything. And we're gonna go ahead and see if it loads. And you can change that in the, uh, what's it called? In the application so give me one second I'll show you something over here back in the application you can change this you just gotta give it a second to load so you want to click on file and let's see replace cover image see if that works there's a way I did it before to get it to load hold on okay so you want to click on maybe there's a bug or something you want to click on replace cover you want to open this up then you want to right click on this and you want to click on change background and inside my um, folder I've included this 
and that will give you the background where it says PS5 on there. Then from there you can rebuild the package and everything. So yeah, okay, meet you back on the PS5. Okay, so don't worry about the Unity thing. So let's go ahead and load this up for the first time and see if it works. Don't know what that was about. Have no idea. Don't worry about the no sound. I have it disabled for when I make videos. So I don't have to worry about any incoming problems or whatever, lol. But yeah, so that's looking pretty cool. We'll let the video play out and see. I already hooked this up to my TV and the sound is working. I try Need for Speed and I know this is gonna work, but yeah. This is pretty cool. I don't wanna enable the audio or anything because I don't wanna take any chances. You know, I don't trust these people, but yeah, it's looking pretty cool. So we'll hit the start button. We'll skip through that. I haven't played this game in a while. So we're going to, we'll do this live together. I'm not going to play a lot of it. We're just going to get into the end game and we're going to see what happens. From playing the Need for Speed Underground 2 or whatever the heck it was called, it seems like the visuals did an upscale on it. I remember playing this game back in the day. This game was awesome. They need to make new games. They really do. Rockstar has so much potential to make some awesome games. You know, they just want to sell GTA 5 6,000 times. It looks like there's a little bit of video stuttering there. It's hard to tell. I just skipped that, so we'll jump into it. Now, it might just be the PlayStation, or the, not the PlayStation, it might just be the Elgato, but the video looks kind of fuzzy. Like, it looks like it's shimmering. Maybe it's trying to upscale it. I have HDR turned off because when I use the Elgato, I can't have it enabled. Otherwise, I'm not able to record. But yeah, this looks this looks pretty cool. I mean, it is playable and everything. I mean, you, you got the nice you got the nice PS5 controller and everything. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to be back in one second. I want to pull up something. I'm going to check the compatibility list. I think there might be a problem with the visuals I was reading, but it said the game did work, so give me one second here. Okay, if you look what I highlighted, it says there are some lagging issues with graphical glitches without patches, um, blah, blah, blah. Now, it took a little bit of time for it to... It looks like it's glitching now. Might be because of the visuals. So, put some pause. I'll be back. Okay, so it did glitch out there for a second. It seems like when there's a lot going on, it glitches out. Maybe they can make a new patch and get this up and working, but the game is working. When you go from hallway to hallway, there's kind of a bit of a glitching kind of, um, it crashes a little bit. Maybe it does this on the PS4. I have no idea. I've never done this. So basically, any type of um, custom packages from the PS4, like PS1 games, PS2 games, PSP games. I don't know if they did the Vita games or not. I don't remember. I don't think they did. Any type of any type of games that work from the previous hacked PS4 will run on the PS5. I'm I'm certain it will. This is the second game I tried. So anyway, guys, like and subscribe to the Fox Den. I'll catch you later. Hope the guide helped you out. See, it crashed again, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. You know. Need for Speed ran without a problem. This game's kind of a little glitchy. So anyway, guys, like and subscribe to the Fox Den, and I'll catch you later.